48,183. This is the staggering number of lives lost to suicide in 2021, equivalent to 132 people every day. Here is a line graph that represents the suicide deaths from the years 2015 to 2022. As you can see in the line graph, there was a drop of suicide deaths in the years of quarantine due to COVID, but has jumped back up since then. Despite increased awareness about suicide across social media platforms, it is clear that awareness alone is not enough to prevent suicide. In fact, putting suicide in the spotlight can potentially trigger individuals who are struggling with suicidal thoughts, worsening of mood, anxiety, self-image, and even increasing suicide risk for those who are vulnerable. The world's approach to suicide prevention has been flawed as it, it, it has not adequately addressed the underlying mental health conditions that often contribute to suicidal tendencies. As highlighted by research conducted by Farzana Akis and Allison Kaur in 2022, 46% of people who die by suicide have a known mental health condition. This indicates the critical need for better education and the warning signs of suicidal thoughts and the mental illnesses that may be triggering it. Common warning signs such as changes in sleep patterns, history of trauma, or substance abuse should be recognized and understood by everyone. However, we need to go beyond awareness and build a better system for affordable access to mental health services, including counseling, therapy, and medication for those who are unable to afford them even with insurance. It is unacceptable that financial constraints should prevent someone from receiving life-saving life care. In addition to better education and accessibility to mental health services, we also need to prioritize outreach programs for those struggling with suicide or mental illnesses. It is not enough to wait for individuals to seek help on their own. We need to proactively reach out to those who may be hurting. Starting, for, starting from middle schools and high schools where mental health education and support should be a fundamental part of the curriculum. We should also have professionals visiting communities and other vulnerable populations to provide support and assistance, rather than waiting for them to come to us when it may be too late. By creating a more compassionate and proactive system, we can truly make a difference in the lives of those who are suffering. If we implement these solutions, we can envision a world where the dark cloud of suicide is replaced with a smaller gray cloud with rays of sunshine peeking through the cracks. While we, while we may not be able to eradicate suicide completely, we can make a significant impact by creating a safer environment for individuals to seek help without fear of judgment or stigma. This will benefit not only those who are struggling with mental health issues, but also their families who often face immense challenges and grief. Providing better support and care for individuals with suicide thoughts, su suicidal thoughts will promote companionship over loneliness and ensure that everyone feels valued and supported. In conclusion, it is clear that the world's current approach to suicide prevention is inadequate. We need to move beyond awareness and prioritize education on warning signs, improve accessibility to mental health services, and implement better proactive outreach programs. By taking these steps, we can create a world where suicide is not a taboo topic, but a public health issue that is addressed with compassion and care. Let us work together to prevent more lives from being lost to suicide and create a brighter future for everyone. Thank you.